In the previous video, we removed the uh, Power by WordPress at the bottom of the theme and we injected our own code. What I'm going to do this time is now do that with a couple of other themes, uh, not being the default themes which are pretty stock. So he's going to pick. Um, Interesting. Uh, okay. Okay. okay, this has got several parts, so this will be definitely different to the last one. So let's install that. And return to the installer. Actually, the theme I use, which I haven't done myself yet, I use a responsive theme. Uh, oh, actually, the responsive theme. Um, just to show you that I, I haven't made the modification on this, I'm not, it's not like I'm cheating or anything. Uh, let's scroll down the bottom here and uh, got a standard copyright message here and responsive theme powered by WordPress. Um, let's activate that and have a look at it. Scroll down the bottom. Okay, so there's our um, copyright message and there's our responsive theme powered by WordPress. So let's let's check this part out. Inspect the element. And we can see that there's several parts to this. Okay, the grid call 300 copyright is over on the left. There's a centre one. Scroll top. All right, there's a, yes, I didn't notice that before. The little arrow there for scrolling to the top. Uh, and fit powered in the third one. Uh, let's just say we want to get rid of that. So we would use actually powered is nice and simple. Um, so let's go back to our theme, check our CSS. Okay, we don't need these anymore. So just going on, uh, fit powered, take that out, refresh, and there she is, she's gone. So I'll leave that open because now we've got the next block. What was the other one we installed? Uh, freedom, let's look at freedom. Okay, first off, let's see how it looks. Okay, yeah, it's got a nice long one here, so this one would be interesting. Let's put that on. Okay, oh, nice and easy. The, if we open that, we'll see that there, there are three separate links with text after some of those links, but they have encompassed the whole lot inside of one div that we can make invisible there. So let's go back to our CSS. It was called copyright, so all we have to do is change that to copyright, update that, and when we refresh the page, it's still there. Okay, what, what did I do wrong? Class copyright. Mm, ah, let's put the dot in. There's the update. We should have rehearsed that. There we go. And now it's gone. Uh, if you wanted to get rid of the whole um, bar altogether, um, you would actually probably get rid of the footer ID here. So let's do that. Colophon ID. If you wanted to go that far, it is. So it's an ID. Colophon. Look at that. Uh, let's go and inject our own code on this. So we'll, we'll, we'll bring that back. Um, let's refresh. I should update that. I didn't update. Let's update that first. 
and refresh that. And uh, so we have. So we've made that one invisible. So let's use this class here and we will inject our code here. So footer socket area. Footer. Area to the class and we go content and copy and save that. Just save that twice. Oh, actually, that, that might not display just yet. That's not good. And let's just check. Oh, no. Okay, something is there. Okay, the, the content is there. We just can't set it, and, and you can't select it being a pseudo class. So let's look at the copyright again. Check the color. Okay, let's go and insert a color for the text. We should be right to go. No, still not right. Ah, okay. Maybe we go that way. Oh, <laughs> still not right. Okay, who's forgot a CSS error? Refresh that. There we go. There's our message. Uh, obviously, we could we could float that uh, left or right. Uh, there you go. That's and then the other thing is going to be very similar. Uh, a very important point to note is that if the theme is ever updated and they change the classes in that area, uh, it's quite likely going to break your CSS mods there. Well, I hope you found it useful. Ciao.